Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favourite limited video game publishers, Super Rare Games. Um, I've got all of their releases here to show you. Um, Super Rare Games focus solely on limited physical edition versions of Nintendo Switch games that you can buy on the eShop. I've been a fan of Super Rare Games since their inception back in 2018 and I've picked up a copy of every single one of their releases so far. Now one of the main reasons that I think they're a great company is that they stick to one new release a month. They're aiming for 12 physical releases a year and the reason they say for this is because it makes it more affordable for people like me who just love collecting physical games and want to have that complete set. I also love the fact that they usually have their releases in hand or at least in close to in hand before they actually sell them on their, on their online store. This means that you're not left waiting around for six to eight months for a release to turn up that you've already paid for. And also, personally, it doesn't hurt that they're a British company. I like to buy British. As you can hear, I'm British. Um, this also means that I also get my games really, really quick from them. Even if I buy their three packs and I'm having to wait for two months, as soon as that third game's released, all three of those games are on my doorstep, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know if any of you guys know about this, but a really cool thing that they've done recently is following the sad death of a YouTuber called Etika. Um, they put their t-shirt sales for seven days and all proceeds of their t-shirt sales were going directly to a UK based mental health charity called Mind. Now on top of this, they also auctioned off um, two special edition plaques. One is Human Fall Flat and the other is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Now, if you're into physical game, limited physical edition game collecting like I am, you'll know that both of these games go for a really, really high price. And it looks like Super Rare Games has raised over £3,000 for mental health charity Mind. It's a fantastic job um, just selling those two plaques. So, well done Super Rare Games. Uh, I just wonder how much they've, made, they've raised on the t-shirt sales as well. So now moving on to the best bit. I'm really excited to show you the full range of games I've collected from them so far. So the first game up from SRG was a game called Human Full Flat. Now this is a puzzle game uh, with kind of jelly boned wobbly physics. It's a really really strange one. Um, you play as a guy called Bob um, in this polygonal world and the idea is complete the puzzles and try and wobble your way around like a drunken toddler through this little world. Um, it is really, really bizarre. They also have multiplayer. I haven't tried the multiplayer yet, but I think that would be really, really cool to get on with a couple of people. Um, they made around 5,000 copies of this as well, physical. So hopefully everyone that wanted a copy got one. So I was really happy to see that their second release was a game called The Flame in the Flood. Now, Limited Run Games did a physical version of this on the PS4 a while back, and I missed out on it. Um, so I was really excited to be able to get myself a copy for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game is a post-apocalyptic, procedurally generated survival sim. It has an amazingly beautiful art style um, with the lights and the darks. It's got a style very much like Tim Burton, um, sort of Nightmare Before Christmas style. It follows the adventures of a woman named Scout and her dog Aesop. Um, you journey down a river looking for all of these small procedurally generated islands. And when you're on these islands, you scavenge for materials and you can craft resources and weapons. Um, and the idea of the game is basically just stay alive, which is extremely difficult because there's things like boars that will attack you and wolves and um, even berries can kill you. <laughs> Um, they made 5,000 copies of this, so I hope everyone that missed out on the limited run games version actually got a copy of this. So their third release was a game called Shelter Gen... Oh, hang on, let me just get this out of there. It's called Shelter Generations. Now, they only made 3,000 of these, so it was a really, really small run. Um, I haven't personally played the game. But it's like a cat simulator, which I'm sure my daughter would love. It's maybe not something that I'm that interested in, but I had to pick up a physical because I want to get the full collection. You play as a mother lynx 
and you have to chase down food for your cubs and protect them as they grow up and I believe later on you can be one of the cubs and have to grow I'm not 100% sure on it to be honest with you um but yeah it's just such a interesting game and it shows the real diversity of choice that super rare games brings so for their fourth release they picked another interesting title this one is called lovers in a dangerous space time and you get to play with some quirky cool little characters it's like a modern day multiplayer co-op asteroids it's crazy um, so you control these tiny little creatures that move around inside this ship and each one of them controls or can move between the different areas to control things like the shields, the firing of the guns, the thrusters. And the whole goal of the game is to fight this evil force known as anti-love and bring peace back to the galaxy by rescuing space bunnies. Nope, I'm not kidding. Um, but when my daughter's older, I think she's going to absolutely love this game. Um, and I'm going to really, really enjoy playing it with her. Now, personally, I haven't had a chance to go on the co-op, but have really, really loved dying a lot in solo play. Because in solo play, you get to control one character and you have an AI who is a dog or a cat and they can help move other parts of the ship around. Now, Super Rare Games only did 3000 copies of this, and I think that is one of the reasons that this has led to being one of the most expensive Nintendo Switch releases to date. So the fifth game that SRG have released is a game called Mutant Muds. Now this is actually the Mutant Muds collection, so it's three games in one. It's Mutant Muds, Super Challenge, and a puzzle game named Mud Blocks. Now Mutant Muds is the basic retro style uh, platformer where you can actually jump between the foreground and the background collecting these little diamond shields which are the currency in the game the currency can be then used to purchase upgrades as you go through the game but you can only have one equipped at any one time now you're a little guy called max and use you're using this little water pistol to clean up these alien invaders called muddies really cool thing in this is you actually get a jetpack and that jetpack helps you jump between the foreground and the background but also helps you glide over obstacles for a short time it's a really really fun game and i recommend you guys trying it out i have to get onto the super challenge soon because that is apparently the same game or similar but far far more difficult mud blocks itself i haven't played but i have watched some videos of it and it looks like a really really great puzzle game so i'll, I'll need to get on that also soon they only made 3,000 copies of this game so i can see it being quite sought after in the future so on to game number six and for number six is a game that i absolutely love it is worms wmd now i've been playing worms since back in 1995 which is over 20 years ago now um, when it was released on the PlayStation. With this version, the cartoony graphics are just beautiful. It is awesome. And I'm really, really glad that they've gone back to the 2D style um, because they released a Worms 3D on the PS2 and I, was, I wasn't was very keen on that one. Um, if you've never played a Worms game before and enjoy strategy games, then I highly recommend picking this one up. It is a great game. Plus really cool thing is is actually up to six people you can play with co-op so you have four worms um and you can use guns missiles sheep um a whole range of weaponry to destroy the other team um if you don't have anyone else to play with then you can actually have five ais playing alongside you um and the really cool thing in this version um, is that you now have vehicles and you can craft weapons uh, from like the materials which are getting so they drop these crates from the sky um, and they contain items which you can dismantle for materials as well um, it's it's just brilliant now they released they actually released 4,000 copies of this one so yeah I highly recommend getting a copy 
So number seven is a game that I've been waiting for for ages to get a physical release. It was one of the original games that was released on the eShop and it is Snake Pass, which I think fits in really, really well with the complete variety of games that Super Rare offers. This is a really interesting platform puzzle game where you actually play as a snake and it feels like you have to move like a snake. So it has a really great physics engine and you have to slither to um, when you want to move around to climb up things. You have to actually coil around them. Um, now, you will fall a lot and it takes quite a while to get to grips with the controls properly but when you do it is just a really unique title and well worth a go now there were 4000 of these sold and again i think these are going to be really really sought after unless another company does do a physical release of it as well so number 8 is another game that was released by limited run games on the ps4 um luckily Super Rare Games has picked it up on the uh, Nintendo Switch, and I absolutely love it. It is N++. Now, this is actually a sequel of a game called N, which came out on uh, Flash on the browser, back when Flash was popular everywhere and all across the web. Um, it is an increasingly difficult game, where you play as this ninja who floatily jumps across levels collecting gold and trying to escape some kind of killer maze it gets extremely difficult the further you get into this game and there are 4340 handmade levels so i don't think i'm ever going to get this finished but on top of that there is also a level editor and global level sharing so you can download other people's levels and play them. Now, graphically, it's not that much to look at. Um, it feels like it will kind of be at home on an Atari or a Spectrum, but the gameplay and the physics are just great and feel so intuitive. I think it's a perfect game for the Switch on the go. You can take it traveling and just, it's one of those games that you can just pick up have a quick play and put down again, if you can put it down. Now, they sold 4,000 of these as well. So, again, if you can get hold of a copy or download a copy, I highly recommend it. So, when Super Rare Games announced their ninth game, I was over the moon. Now, this game was previously released by Strictly Limited Games on the PS4. But by this point, I'd kind of figured out that most games getting released uh, on the PS4 will eventually get a Nintendo Switch release. So I didn't buy it from Strictly Limited Games. But I'm really glad that Super Rare Games have released Steriden Binary Stars. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I love my shoot 'em ups. Um, I've been into shoot 'em ups on console since the Master System. Um, but way before that, on arcades and on the Atari, but one of the first shoot 'em ups, which was actually a cute 'em up, it was actually one of the first cute 'em ups I really got into was a game called Fantasy Zone on the Master System. Now, this game was awesome. It was bright, it was colourful, and you could upgrade your weapons. And there was these floating shops in, in the levels that you kind of had to fly into to be able to go in to upgrade all your, your, your weapons. Now, at the end of every single level, you then had to battle massive bosses, and I loved it, absolutely loved it. Now, the really cool thing about Steriden is it's a, sh it's a shoot 'em up, but it has randomly generated levels. So every time you play it, it feels like a different game with different enemy placements, which obviously adds to the difficulty of the game, which is one of the reasons that people play shoot 'em ups because they like the difficulty of it. Another really cool thing about this game is rather than the one shot and dead that most shoot 'em ups have, you actually have a health bar 
so you can last a bit longer um, but you will still die a lot now they sold 3,000 copies of this I don't know how many strictly limited games sold but I'm just really glad I got to pick up a copy and I highly recommend if you can't get a physical copy yourself go online and download from the eShop you will love it so number 10 is a game that I wasn't expecting to see and it is a game called Adventure Pals now this is a great little platformer it has sort of small light puzzles in it really um, and it has a real sort of design feel like Adventure Time which if you've seen the cartoon you'll understand if not watch it it's awesome um, but it's set in its own little world now you play as a boy called Wilton and at your birthday party your grandpa he gives you this little giraffe which you name Sparkles um, so the story is basically a rescue mission where you have to rescue your grandpa and it takes you across all of these amazingly beautiful worlds and they are stunning Sparkles the giraffe can be used as a kind of like multi-tool so you can use him as your weapon or you can use him to twirl and fly like a helicopter and sort of glide around I highly recommend you guys pick up this game check it out it is a beautiful world to explore so I'm really really happy that I got a copy of this because there were only 4,000 of these sold and I haven't seen it released by any other limited company yet so the next game released was actually 11 and 12 in one because it's two games in one and it's Knights of Pen and Paper 1 and 2 how cool does that look now I haven't actually played this one yet because I'm expecting it to take a long long time and at the moment I don't have the time to get deep into a big RPG like that the game itself from what I've seen looks like a really interesting Dungeons and Dragons style RPG so but you can actually play as both the characters and the dungeon master so you can choose which enemies and stuff you get to fight against um, you get to put a team together from all different classes like knights and mages and also then from the dungeon master side put together put together a bunch of monsters to fight against um, it looks really really cool like you're all sitting around a little table and the world in front of you is changing it just yeah it looks fantastic and I highly recommend if you guys get a chance you should pick this one up because I've, what I've, from what I've seen it looks really good there were only 4,000 of these sold as well so again I'm really really happy to have this in my collection so guys on to number 13 and it is cube 2 so I haven't actually played this game and I'm probably not going to but it looks like a really great physics based puzzle game from what I've seen of the online reviews they sold 4,000 copies of this so even though I'm not likely to play it, I'm still really happy just to have it in my collection. So for their 14th release, SRG have blown it out of the water. They have released, this is the Faerun collection. This is four games in one. It's Faerun 1, 2, Faerun Origins, which has never been released before on console. And Faerun Blast, which is actually an unlockable shoot 'em up How cool is that? Now, I'm a massive fan of old school Zelda games and Faerun 1 and 2 look like very, very similar feel to the old school Zelda games. I am so looking forward to getting into this one. I haven't played them yet, but when I do, I will definitely be doing a video on this channel and I'll be putting the link in the description below. They've sold 4,000 copies of this and I'm, I'm just so happy to have it in my collection. Um, if you guys love Zelda, Go out there, pick up a copy of this. If you can't get it physical, then download it on the eShop. Well worth your time. So game number 15, Super Rare Games are showing yet again their complete variety of choice 
when it comes to their game selections. And this one is just amazing. It's called Joe Devers Lone Wolf. Now, this is actually an individual story which is based around Joe Devers' fantasy saga Lone Wolf, which in itself is a whole world. It's made like a choose your own adventure book. And as a kid of the 80s, I used to love reading those. Um, the really cool, unique thing about this is it also has a turn based combat system and inventory and upgrades as well as an interactive map like it's a choose your own adventure with rpg elements i'm definitely going to be playing this one and when i do i will be creating a video for my channel so if you guys want to watch it i will link that in the description as well now they sold 4000 copies of this as well and i believe that again unless another company picks this up and does their own limited run I think it's going to be really, really well sought after. So with 16, I am really, really impressed with SRG's trajectory from the games they released at the start to the games they're adding to their collection now. And number 16 is Earthlock. Now, in my opinion, this is the greatest release that they've done to date. Now, I love old school RPGs. And I was so excited to see that Super Rare Games would be releasing this. Now, I've been waiting for a physical game of this for just so long. I've been watching it online. I've been reading about it. And I didn't want to get a downloadable copy because I am getting a physical copy. Now, I have yet to play it. But the main reason that I'm so hyped to finally get to play this game is because the developers, Snowcastle Games, took the feedback from the users on the initial launch and updated the game for free. The story has been massively changed, side quests have been added, performance upgrades, has cutscenes have been added and have been improved, and apparently there's just loads more stuff. So Super Rare Games have released the definitive edition of this, and I just can't wait to get started with it. So they released 5,000 copies of this and I can understand why. Now I will be doing a video on this in the very near future when I get the release. So I will put a link in the description so you guys can check that game out too. Now on top of this, they also released a limited collector's edition. Now. As you can see, I've kept this in bubble wrap because I don't have a box to it to go in on my display. But until I do, that is taking pride of place on my shelf in bubble wrap. They only made 1,000 copies of that. It's just amazing. In the collects edition, you get the game. You get a 200 page hardback art book. You get a full color 20 page manual. You get stickers. You get a complete set of Earthlock trading cards because Super Rare Games love doing their trading cards with each of their games. And you get an exclusive original soundtrack. Now, I'm really looking forward to hearing that. On top of this, I think, which is the coolest thing about it is you get two fully designed comic books. How cool is that? So yeah, I'm just so excited for this. So how cool is that collector's edition? It's just so special. And the thing I love most is that they've only released one in the entire year. They picked their most special game and they gave it a really special collector's edition. I think that's amazing. Now, on to the final game, which is listed on their website, which I have yet to receive because I bought a three pack with Earthlock, game number 17 and game number 18, which to me is still a mystery. But number 17 is Machinarium or Machinarium. Now, I haven't played this game, um, but it looks really, really beautiful. It is a really cool looking point and click adventure 
about a little robot called Yosef. And he's trying to save his girlfriend from the Black Cat Gang. So they sold 5,000 copies of this. I don't know much more about the game, but I'm really excited to play it when I receive it. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all of the releases so far. I am so excited to have every single one of these in my collection. I think they are amazing games. And if Super Rare games keep going in the trajectory that they have been going, sky's the limit. I can't wait to see what mystery number 18 is going to be. Um... So you guys let me know in the comments, are any of you collecting physical limited edition games? Um, which are your favourite companies? What releases that they've released have been your favourite, um, both to play and collect? And would you like me to do videos of any of these games for you? Please let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, hope you all have an awesome day and all the best.